Hey Fredcom, welcome back to the Freddy Frags channel. Today I bring you my review from the House of Alexandria Fragrances, Crazy Pineapple. Stay tuned. So Crazy Pineapple uh, was launched in 2017, I believe, maybe the beginning of 2018. Um, and it's created by Hani Hafaz, I believe that's how you pronounce his name pronounce his name honey if, I, if you're watching which I'm sure you are I'm sorry if I butchered your name um, he's the director uh, creative director uh, probably perfumer uh, owner CEO he's everything to the company and we appreciate what you do for the community and what you bring out and your customer services a plus um, just quickly I want to give you the presentation of crazy pineapple um, Typical uh, Alexander fragrance box, size of your bottle, logo of the house, silhouette that holds the, bo the bottle in, and as always, Alexander fragrances, perfume is key to our memories. Um, the bottle holds straight in here. I didn't put it in there now just because it's a little difficult to pull out. I want to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, fragrance name there with the generic Alexandria fragrance and the notes here on the side uh, label typical automizer if it's all about the bottle for you this is not gonna be impressive uh, but if it's all about the juice this might this juice might impress you to some degree I, I enjoy it at least um, just quickly the notes are bergamot citrus notes uh, apple pineapple uh, with a base of patchouli, amber, and musk. Uh, I must say that this is a good universal fragrance that is well suited for the spring and summer. I get a fresh citrus and apple straight up, straight up in the opening. Um, the musk in here wears out from beginning to end um, of the whole life of the fragrance on my skin. I do get the nuances of um, the pineapple, the amber, and the patchouli. Um, at, but that's more towards the end of the fragrance when it starts to dry down. Um, I really enjoyed the scent, um, but the only gripe I would have is that I only got about five hours longevity on this and that's, that's okay, but it was a skin scent for most of the life of the fragrance. I say the first half hour is decent. Uh, the next half hour is okay and then after that hour it's a skin scent all the way through um i got a 60 mil bottle of this and i i'm okay with that because the 60 mil bottle i'll probably run through because of reapplying i like the scent enough where i'm still gonna wear it i'll just have to carry the automizer and reapply it as the day progresses throughout the day as when i wear this um this scent i believe is best suited for casual wear or even business casual, like wearing it to work and things like that. Um, it's great for business to work because at the end of the day, you can't project too strongly in an office environment because you can't offend anyone around you and you don't know who has any fragrance allergies. Um, with that being said, um, you're gonna smell good to yourself. You reapply at lunchtime. Um, at no point will you project enough to offend anyone, even if not. But to be honest, I think that this scent was not, it's not gonna offend anyone. I think this is a well blended scent. I think it smells really, really good. Again, the only performance, the only issue I have is the performance. It's not, it's not loud enough, should I say. Uh, I would rate this a seven and a half out of 10, just because of that performance issue. Um, it, it may not even be an issue. It might be soft by design, um, but honey, this can easily be an eight and a half to nine out of 10 if it had, if maybe if you make an intense version that performs a little bit better. Uh, the scent itself is, is beautiful. Um, that was my take and on Crazy Pineapple by Alexandria Fragrances, but don't leave. I have another take on another Alexandria Fragrance, Alexandria Signature. Stay tuned. So welcome back. I hope you guys stayed around for the second half of this video. 
Um, this is more of a quick take on another Alexandria fragrance. Again, the box is the same. Just this one's a little smaller because it's a 30 mil uh, bottle that I got of this. Again, it's hard to uh, remove them out of these boxes. Um, but I do appreciate the box just because it helps preserve the scent and through shipping, right? So again, same thing. Uh, this is Alexandria Fragrance, uh, Alexandria Signature. Um, the notes on this one is vanilla, R, R, the notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and citrus. Now, this was one of my go-to scents in the fall. You can see I did rock a good amount of it. Um, I get a nice vanilla, creamy sandalwood, and spices. I don't know where the spices are coming from, but I, I do get a little bit of a spicy vibe to it. Um, I don't smell citrus notes per se, but there is a little bit of a uh, zest in there that breaks up the heavier notes. So it makes it a little bit more aromatic. This is another one that I believe Hani did great. Um, both, both of the scents here on this video are not inspired by another scent. These are created from in-house uh, original blends. And both of these, I believe, are worthy of your attention and you should try them out. This one, I would give an 8 out of 10. It is a good scent. Um, I would say for fall, fall, spring, and some of the winter. Um, at the end of the day, this was, like I said, one that I went to often. It's in my realm of fragrances that I like. And it just works. This was a good one. I suggest you give it a try. So... Till next time, peace, stay blessed. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. All your guys' support is very much appreciated. And let's go and and you know increase our numbers and become more relevant into this uh fracom. So again, peace, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.